Let's install the in-wall power kit for a soundbar and mounted TV. To install, you will need the following tools. In the box, you'll find the cutting template, upper module, soundbar module, lower module, six foot power cord, and drywall saw. First, we'll need to measure where to place your modules. You have three and a half feet between the upper module that goes behind the TV to the soundbar module. You have a maximum of eight feet between the upper and lower modules. The lower module must be within six feet if you choose to use the included six foot cord. Use a stud finder to ensure you are installing between studs. Another helpful tip, many TV mounts allow for space within their wall plate to accommodate the upper module. Keep that in mind when you're measuring. After you're finished measuring the included cutting templates, trace the outline of each module and use the included drywall saw to cut the holes. Then, we'll route all of our low voltage cables coming from the upper module from the TV through the pass-through plate and out the lower holes to either the soundbar or two components that may be closer to the floor. Next, we'll route the included in-wall rated power behind the wall to the other modules. Then, we'll assemble and insert the soundbar and lower modules into place, routing the cables through the pass-through plates as needed. Secure the upper and soundbar modules first, then secure the lower module by tightening the screws. Next, you'll install your TV mount and soundbar mount as outlined in your manuals. Connect your cables to your TV, soundbar, and other components. Last, we'll supply power by plugging in the power cord to the lower module to a nearby outlet. And you're done! Easily installs in 30 minutes or less. As a reference, we're showing this kit installed with one of our Santa's full motion mounts and our soundbar mount for the Sonos Arc. If you have any questions or concerns, contact our expert customer care team. Thanks from the team at Sanus.